Like, yeah. Hey, we in the field, like, all day, like, all night, like, bunch of bread, like, all friends, like, got over money. Like, this squad, like, this squad, like, this squad, like, What's so great about being a Cocoa Tiger? No question, Tiger Pride. The history at Cocoa High School, it, it was a place that I was so proud to become a part of. I'm going to stay here as long as I can and continue to build Tiger Pride in this We're community. here with John Smith. John, you've coached youth football for many years, um, and you've sent a lot of people to Cocoa. Tell us what it's like to, to um, send kids to Cocoa High. Well, for one thing, it's the best program around here. You know, just looking at the past, there's three state championships. And Coach Wilkes, I mean, he's a coach that get the best out of his kids. And he's looking at the best interests of the kids. Right, right. Um, he's coached some, some top-level kids that went on to the NFL. Tell us about some of those people that's been at Coach Um, I coach Jane Foston. I coach his um, younger brother, Jerry Foston. And Coach Chevelle Bowie, um, Anthony Session, my stepson. And support that line. Um, the talent, like I said, in the last few years, this was an area that was 
dominated by rock leads. What was the big change that got Kobe done? Well, I think the biggest change when they brought Coach Wilkinson in, Coco always had talent, but they was lacking that discipline. When he came in, he brought discipline, and that was one of the key factors in any program is discipline. Right. And I mean, he, he turned his program around. Now, um, a lot of people are saying this is going to be a down year for Coco. They're real young. Um, what, what, how can you, what, what can you say about that? You speak on it. I don't think so. it's going to be a challenging year for him, but I don't think so. I think the, the system that he runs is going, it's still going to be pretty good. It's the system. It ain't always about the players all the time, but the system he runs is a good system. They don't beat themselves. They don't turn the ball over. They're very disciplined. And, I mean, that's all it takes. They tackle and they run. Hey, tell us what it was like to grow up here in Coco, uh, coming up in high school, how, how it helped you and prepared you for college. Coco prepared me for college because it's fast-paced, just like college. And we learn a lot, good coaching. And it's just a, it's a winning program. It was, great, it was great coaching. Coach Will preached the game of football as far as, like, uh, giving over adversity and everything, as far as going hard on the field. Of course, he preached academics, and it's just the environment. The kids raised here are all grinding. They want to be something in life because they all come from nothing. Man, coming here to Coco, man, Coach Wilk, as far as spring football, it's in fall. It's all blood, sweat, and tears, man. He make us become a family as one. We all die for each other. We arrive for each other. When we get on that field, we'll fight for each other. It's just crazy how Coach Wilk just he came here and just changed the game a football at Cocoa High School, and that's really what we needed. Definitely needed. Um, Cocoa wasn't really a winning program until he got here. I mean, Rockledge pretty much dominated the area. Um, and the last 10 years, you guys just took over. What what changed? What was the change he brought here? It was just the work ethic of Coach Wood. The idea that he had coming here, starting from nothing and building the program up to, I mean, a Nike school now, you know what I mean? Cause three consecutive state championships, you know. I mean, it was a huge turnaround. Which is which is crazy because Coco is a small city. And many people wonder how we won those three state championships, but it's a small city with a lot of athletes. And that's exactly like what I said. Like, they came from nothing. They're grinding, trying to get out of this, out of this city. They're trying to be something. How did you like, overcome those challenges? Me, personally, I just stay involved my, like, trying to stay around the right people. People that have the same dreams as me and the same goals as me. That trying to like be something like which I'm trying to be. And not, not necessarily just going to college for football and trying to go to the NFL. That's not my only mindset. I'm trying to think like in the far future about making it my own business and something like that. It's not all about football when it comes to that. Right. Yeah, that's what kids gotta understand. It's not just football. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. One, two, pull out, we're seat rolling. I'm gonna point in your direction, then you somersault through the finish. Here we go, chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Eyes on me, eyes on me. Let's go this way. All right, quick. Stay low, don't get ahead. You need to run the tone. Roll the whole thing through. Stay Okay, good line up here, more. So all we're gonna do here is I say switch, ball across top, snap to other hand. Okay, we got that. Ball across to start the ball in your right hand. Here we go. All right, don't, don't stab yourself with it. Don't get in that. Hey, don't get in this habit. Here we go. Switch. Ball on top. Ball on top. Switch. Put your nose in there. Yes, sir. Bend your knee. Yes, Bend your knee. Bend your knee. Go. Oh. Step backward. Step forward. 
Step back and step forward. Who's up in here? Let's go. Let's go. Lock up. Get your weight on. Learn. Get your weight on. Get your weight on. Go. Get your weight on. Go. That's better. Who's this? Step left. Go. You step a little bit. Go. Go. Come right out there. I need you right here. Because right you're right shutting down and you're into the guy. So when you, you come off on the man, you're going to need to. Step like that. You're up into the guy. You got no balance. Short power step. That's when we get into the fifth position. Then we drive off on him. Much, much better. Atta, baby. Now we got something happening. Go. There you go. Stay low. Go. Stay low. There you go. Stay low. Go. Oh, there you went. Bruce Jessen, you're Go. one of the top recruits in the nation. Um, you've been here since ninth grade, tenth grade, had great seasons. Tell us what it's like to be at Coco High and what the neighborhood is like and what being a Coco Tiger is all about. Uh, I mean, a lot of people think being a Tiger is easy, but it's really not. I mean, my first day here, I had to do 50 push up, 50 sit up just for being late. Then I had to go lift weights. Then after that, we had to be over there to throw. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. But I mean, if you really dedicated to football and saw that, I mean, it's not really a challenge. Really, it's just a mental thing. And then the neighborhood. I mean, the whole community come out and um, support Coco. So I mean, you have support systems just like you in class. Little kids, the whole team. I'm fighting. That's just crazy. From the fans to the student section to the little kids, the teachers, everybody. It's, it's just crazy. What are the What are the coaches like? Do they push you to? Reach the level that you want to reach. I mean, our coaches they just they just push us to be great young men at the end of it. I mean, it might seem hard in the beginning, and it is hard in the beginning, but once you start going your ninth grade, your tenth grade, it's gonna start getting easier. But the more you gonna understand more by the time you get to your twelfth grade year. I mean, you gonna understand why they did this in your ninth grade year, tenth grade year, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade. All right. Um, what are some of the goals for you this season? Um, really, I don't really have no personal goals. Really, really, just. Really, team goals now. Since my first, my ninth and tenth grade year, I had really my personal goals. But now it's just win state. Uh, make sure everybody stay healthy on my team, uh, school. Uh, just make sure we do our uh, job at, at the end of the year. Uh, hopefully, we get over that step is done. That we lost some team the last five years and um, be at state the next two. Um, I see you wearing a wristband for um, for Marcus. Uh, talk to us about Marcus and what he was like. I mean, Marcus, he was a great person. I mean, I talked to him time and time. I wasn't really so close to him, but it really hurt me because he was one of my receivers. And the one of my receivers that was going to actually come play in the spring. And then, like, the last thing he really said when we talked, he was like, um, Bruce, what do I need to do to play varsity? And I told him, I was like, just stay level-headed, just stay off, um, really focus on what you want to do. And I, um, I had told him, I was like, um, just, just be the person you is what you came out here before you even came to play. And he a great player and stuff like that. And um, he really just he really he, re, he was a person that really worked hard and he taught to everybody. He wasn't he wasn't no mean person. He was a kind person. I mean that really affected me a lot. I mean I just really like to show stuff like inside of me on the field and what I do. Right. Um, I hear a lot of people um trying to dedicate this season to um, Marcus. Is that something that you? willing to do uh, you wanting to do uh yeah i mean it's something it's something we're willing to do in school too outside of school it's good character for him uh play for him do everything we do for him we work hard for him in the weight room for him. we do we really do dedicate everything for him because we really don't know why he left and we can't really say we're really happy on the man above but um, we just we just all out about him we just all about him this season and the rest through coco is going to live on marquise tell us about how marcus uh, well, he was he was a very good person to me. Always seen him around school. He always said what's up to him, and he always looked up to me. And I was trying to be a great model, grown role model to him. But it's crazy how all this happened. I went to his funeral, and it was it was sad though. Get in front of you, boy. Everybody in front, what you see. Eyes straight ahead. Don't be playing with nothing. Eyes straight ahead. Look up. Look up. Look up. Straight to be a Coco Tiger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, ain't nothing better in the world than being a Coco Tiger. Yes, sir. You know why? Because we kick ass and take names. That's why. Yes, sir. Take names. You know why? We work hard. We work hard and we do what? We're disciplined. So when you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that when it's time, when you're getting tired, you're not tired. It's your mind. 
Just keep going. Get past that. Push yourself. Because I'm going to push you towards something you've never been before. Mentally and physically. Woo. I'm going to challenge you. Every single day, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge your manhood. Because I need 22 men on Friday night. 22 right. people that are going to stroke somebody. Yeah. 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 Enjoy it. Coco High School, that's what we do. Everybody's expecting us to be down this year. That's what I like. I like that. Yeah. Everybody on this field against the world. Everybody against it. And everybody wants to see us fail. Too bad. This Coco High School, we do not do that. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Captain, I mean seniors, step up. Step up. You see somebody struggling? Hey, hey, listen. I want positivity. Get in their ass, but be positive about it. Push them. All right, they're out here for a reason. They think that they have it. They're not real sure. Some of them aren't real sure. All right, they either got to realize I can do it or I can't do it. And remember, if you can't do it, no hard feelings. Just come look me in the eye, turn, give me your uh, helmet. All right, that's all I ask. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, receivers over there. Anybody else? Come on. Hey, not just seniors can be leaders. Everybody got to lead each other. We got to do this as a family. Let's go. All right, the reason why I call out seniors because this is your last go-round. Yeah, this is your yeah. last time yeah, putting man. on a black and orange. I got no go Coach, I'm Let's go. The Eagles got a thing and that's it. Hey, hey, Coach. 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 May I say something? I want to thank all of y'all for helping me run. Yeah. 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 Something out of this. Thank you. All right. yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, we got you, bro. Yeah. Hey, quiet down, quiet down. We work it because other teams don't want to. When we come out here, it's 100%. There's no walking around the field. There's no walking getting to a water break. Full speed, 100%. Yeah, That's mining. why we came out here. I want everybody on the motherfucking country to worry about this shit. Stay still on three, stay still on three! One, two, three, stay still! One shot. There we go. You gotta get inside of it. That guy, you don't even take that on, that's his drill. Right now, I just get up on the line. The other way, that line is the white thing. There you go, banana head. Hut! Too slow getting there. Hut! You got a big one there, you better get below the hip on it. Drive off your inside foot. Hut! Finish that up! Finish that up! It's gonna happen? Your honeymoon is gonna happen. I'm calling Coach Boats to come finish for us. Hut! Hut! Good feet. Down away. Next guy's up. Hut! Wani, tell us what it's like to be at Coker and why you chose to come here. Um, I count it as a blessing because I was going to go to a different school, but I came out of the area because I felt like this is the best opportunity for me to make it to the next level. So that's so why I came to Coker. What What's so great about Coker? I mean, what's the difference between the other programs in the county? What's great about what great about Coker is the family. I like how we run the program. It's not easy, but we go hard every day, try to make a state championship. A lot of teams want to do what we're doing, but Coco is the number one in the Brevard, so that's all I can. What's your, what's your goals for the season? My goals for this season is just to progress in my pass blocking, run blocking, and um, win a state championship. All right, as a team, you guys have been, um, you've won three state championships back to back, and then uh, Booker T has done it back to back. W what do you think this year will turn out to be? I think whatever this year turns out to be, I think we'll have a winning team, be able to make it a state. I think nobody should hold us back from making it this year. What that happen? What are we thinking about right now? You worry about what you're doing. You go to where you're supposed to go. That don't cut it. Work, Patrick. Good. Good. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. Let's go! 
Come on. Hey, guys. Hey. Get a 
Coming up. Now. Worry about where the ball's going. Let's kick it. Stay down. Step. Right. You gotta be quicker now. There you go. Now. Right up, right. Hey. Relax. Just like in all them damn camps. Kick it through the damn uprights. Relax. Relax. Do what you can do. Shake off the last one to kick this one through the damn upright. I know you can do it. Just like that. Left hand. Kick the shit through the upright like I know you can. Confidence. Just like that. Confidence. Semi-finals. 
I'm tired of that shit. All right, everybody else in this county would be happy to go there. Coco High is not. We like putting jewelry on our fingers. All right, but you got to come out here and work every single day. Mentally and physically, you got to be ready to practice. You got to put all the shit aside and come out here and practice for two hours. That's all. I'm never going to practice for four hours like some people do. We're never going to practice on the weekends. It's Monday through Friday. Give me all you got. That's 10 hours. 10 hours. Put away all your issues, all your girlfriend BS, and just come out here and say, I'm playing for Coco High School. I'm playing for my family. Let's yeah. go to shit. Any questions about anything? No, sir. All right, after practice, meet me in my office. I'm going to give you those two coupon books. By next Friday, I need $40 in my hand. $40 in my hand, that gets you the ticket to the party, which is a game on that next Wednesday. All right? No $40, no ticket to the party. Okay? Any questions about that? No, sir. If you don't come get your coupon books today, yes, we'll be on that hill. Coaches, you got anything? Let's get it on. All right, Jamel, uh, what was so great about being at Coco High? Just the atmosphere and the uh, overall culture of just playing here. It was uh, one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. I miss it. So um, what made you want to come back? Just to see the different, uh, my little brother actually, and then just see the different players here, and how different foundation is, and how it's still the same culture. Hey, go. All right. take care of your teammates, okay? If you have a problem with somebody with a different color shirt, that's why we're here. So you take care of your bench, you take care of your bench, we'll take care of things on the field. We hate to see somebody disciplined for doing something stupid, okay? All right, measures, I've got a coin here. It's our association logo is heads, so it says tails. Tails, yeah, is that what you call it right now? So you're making your toes. He calls tails. It is a head, you want to toss? Defer. Want to defer the second half? Your choice is head. Okay, which way do you want to kick? Kick that way. Put your backs over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Funny, can't get your Academy, the Thunderbolts, on their own 41 yard line. That's number four, Travis Homer, who's able to break a few tackles. He gets inside Coco territory. Ball close to the 45 yard line of Coco. Number five, John. Number five, John Smith brought him down. That moves the chains for the Thunderbolt, first and ten, the ball at the 46-yard line of Coco. Yeah! That's number 15, the quarterback brought down by number 20, coming from the outside. That's uh, Zarek Charles for the Coco Tigers with the sack. Path. Pass complete to number four. Okay, yeah, just put it on the table or wherever they eat. Y'all here complaining about y'all tired and shit. What the fuck is this, bro? This is how we play football, though. We got to get this shit echoed across everybody. Hey, hey, here, hey. Where's the offense at? You guys stay in here. You guys are in here. Defense is over there. We gotta fight to get the sidelines to keep them contained. That's it. We got him. I don't care if you have to run straight to the sideline. Just keep him inside you. Yeah, he don't want to step up in the pocket and run. He wants to try to get out on the on the, per, on the perimeter, okay, and throw it out there, throw it away or whatever. But guys, you three guys up front, we're gonna we'll start subbing in so you guys don't get tired. But we need you to go. Right from the beginning, let's go. Let's go. Hey, on three, on three, one, two, three. Get down! 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 You stand in the 
Touchdown down here, gave up a touch, didn't get it in down there, put the ball on the ground. I mean, guys, it was it was not good. Uh, you guys that are on Twitter all the time running your mouths, you better hope I don't see any more of it because you're the ones that when it came nut time time, y'all were y'all, y'all ready to cash it in. I'm not gonna have that. We're gonna be a new look team come the fall. All y'all, all y'all uh, Twitter all-stars are looking for all these offers. We ain't never had as many college coaches at a game as we had tonight. Since I've been here 11 years, they saw you. They saw what you can do. All right? We've got to get better. That's it. We've got to get better. Guys, defensively, I thought we ran the ball. We tackled atrocious. Tackled atrocious. But I, I think that's a, that's a part of being in ninth and 10th grade. Okay? This summer, we're going to be getting in the weight room every single day. We're going to be getting after it. Okay? Offensively. Guys, they kind of stuck it to us on our line, okay? Stuck it to us. We just got to get better. We just got to get better. Okay, backs, when you're running the ball, you got to run like you shot out of a cannon. You can't be tiptoeing around and doing all that. It, they, they, the teams that we play, the holes close quickly. If you don't get to the hole, it's not going to be there. Okay? Special teams, there's no rush on anything. All right? You guys need to look yourselves in the mirror. Okay? Look at yourselves in the mirror. All right?